You guys are not gonna believe what this is like in here. I don't wanna give it away, you gotta see it for yourself. Grab your flashlight and come along with me. trail of the Lehigh Canal Ruins, an area I originally explored earlier last year on my scooter where I found a lot of interesting things. But due to the time of year that I was here, everything was overgrown and some areas were not accessible. But I've returned now in the winter and we should have no problem gaining access to those areas, including a location what appeared to be a type of tunnel. So I invite you to come along with me for a new adventure to see what else we can discover along the Lehigh Canal Trail. I am coming to you from the Waylock Station. That's where I actually started my last video here. This is a location I actually found on Google Maps right along the Lehigh Canal Trail. And this is where they would weigh the boats coming through the canal system to see how much cargo they were carrying. Now, if you haven't seen my original video, you will be able to find that link down below in the description. But when I was here though, I did explore a little bit of this area. It was really thick and overgrown, but there's a pathway back here. And I was curious as to how far it goes or maybe what could be back there. So we're gonna explore down there and then come up look over here and see what we can find but i do know further down there is a type of tunnel so if you want to see what that's all about make sure you stay tuned and continue watching didn't have to come very far i actually forgot about this when i was here for a return visit with rj because he wanted to check out the canal ruins himself we came back here and we're looking in this canal path here. And I don't know if this was the actual canal path or this was the flow control system. I forget what it's called, but it's like a, a separate canal that controls the water flow for the locks. Regardless of that, there is something laying in here. Do you see that? Do you know what that is? That is an old telephone booth. That is something that was used by both railroad companies and mine companies. And they would have an antenna in there and a permanent phone system. And it's a little shack slash shanty for a uh, employee to man the phones in there. However that was done. And it's just laying down here. I'm guessing it maybe got pushed off from up there. Up there is the active rail line Reading and Northern I believe it is or possibly Norfolk Southern, I'm not sure. But I think it probably came from up there, I can't be certain of that, but it's laying down here in the canal. I'm gonna try to get down there and we'll take a closer look at that. We're essentially in the canal now, a combination of wood, concrete, anchor bolts. But this is a pretty neat find. It is basically cast out of concrete Big enough for an individual 
Now I actually do have a picture of what I'm going to show you, which is located at the Huber Breaker site in Ashley, Pennsylvania, where they have one that's kind of restored, complete with a coal stove and it's basically um, remodeled, so to speak, kind of um, renovated to show how it would look in operation. This one is just a, a shell, pretty much toppled over. Since there's a hole there, makes me wonder if there maybe was a chimney of sorts. They probably had the same general concept where they had a heating source inside uh, the type of phone system they were using and maybe a, a stool or a little counter or something like that. Kinda roomy, so to speak. Got a window here so I can actually stand up. Well, at least it's got a sunroof, good ventilation. Like I said, I think this is where the chimney would be since there's already a hole here. You can see the rebar as well. It's a shame that it's just laying here like this. Hopefully they could maybe uh, do something to bring it back up on the trail or something and uh, refurbish it, display it, explain its use. Maybe it's used for the canals, who knows? It could have been used for canals, which I don't know if they had them back then, but definitely railroad companies and uh, mine companies use them. All right, enough playtime, time to get out. And just here's a look from the other side. Really cool find. You wouldn't know it's here if you didn't come walking along the trail and just happen to look down inside the canal itself. Now this is much better navigating now. I'm going to show you either a picture or a clip as to how the same path did look. It's like walking through a really lush forest. But now everything's dead, low to the ground, and really visible. And if I remember, it's actually a old bicycle hung up in a tree out here and that's about as far as I went last time so once I do reach that point I know that it's gonna be new territory beyond that as mentioned there's the bike I did go a little bit past it last time I remember this cross buck up here laying on the ground I remember it had these holes in it which appears to maybe had something uh, coming out of them, rods or posts or something like that, but eh, it's an X, cross buck, cross, however you want to look at it. But here over is new territory for me, so I don't know if this leads anywhere specific or if it's just like a hiking trail. I do know it leads back towards the sewer treatment plant, so I'm not going to go that far because I already know that's getting back into civilization, so to speak, downtown area. But I'm going to walk around, explore a little bit, keep our eyes peeled, keep our head on a swivel, and see what we can find. Despite the windy conditions that you could hear, it's actually a really nice day. It started off in the 30s, it's supposed to get near 50. It's probably right around 40 right now. Not too bad. This path just keeps winding through. The main Lehigh Canal Trail is right there, maybe 40, 50 feet, just through those little bushes, old trees there. I don't see, as of right now, any more canal ruins, so to speak. I do know there are other canal locks, but I don't see any type of remnants of the canal, at least in this area, except for maybe over here where this little ravine is. There's a steel barrel, Texaco. That the kind you see at the old Texaco gas stations. And now it's a makeshift trash can. Just randomly placed here. 
And these rocks look like they're placed there as well. Some strapping. But nothing canal related. I'm certain we're gonna find more than what we did so far. But I'm, in the back of my mind, I have that tunnel that I found last year. And I got a flashlight, so however big or small, bright or dark it is, we're gonna explore it one way or the other. I continued walking, and this is just essentially a hiking trail of sorts, a walking trail. And if you keep going, it leads back out closer to the Sioux Authority and meets up with the Lehigh Canal Trail. So it's just a little diversion trail. So anything of significance is gonna be up this way. But the other thing I'm noticing too is what we're walking on is a lot of like silt and tiny pieces of coal and coal related material. Not sure if that's something that's important or not to know, but just wanted to put it out there. Maybe there's a connection. Could have been coal from a coal train, coal from the canal. But underneath the leaves and debris, there is definitely a layer of black material and a little tiny like pea coal mixed in. Actually starting to get quite warm. So I just want to show you briefly a view we weren't able to get last time. So where I'm walking right now is again through one of the canal areas and you're going to recognize it because just ahead of it is the bridge and I almost face planted there. So there's the bridge we just rode over that on our entry into this area and this is the canal area. Just giant blocks and uh, just go straight through under the bridge there. But we're gonna walk the other side where the phone booth is, a little bit further ahead of that because that area, as far as I know, probably isn't as checked out or as explored as much as this one here since this is the most visible one. Well, I found a brake shoe for a train car. Do curls with it. Probably weighs about 25, 30 pounds. But as I'm going through, keep your eyes peeled. If you see something, make sure to let me know. Because I'm pretty good at spotting things, but I'm definitely not gonna see everything. That's where your help does come in. And here's the phone booth again, so I'm gonna press onwards here and we'll see what there is to discover. So far I'm finding some pieces of timber. Good sized ones too, covered in a bit of the moss or as I call it, nature's carpet. And to show you scale size, my hand compared to these blocks that form the inner walls of the canal. And every so often you see some metal rods coming out. I did find a couple interesting things. A dog discovered me, a little corgi. Um, there's something here behind you guys which I'm gonna show you which is not part of the canal, but it is recognizable. I thought this was pretty fascinating here too. The wall has this gap and you can see it doesn't look the most stable, although I'm not think it's gonna go anywhere. But what I'm focusing on is that dark hole. It actually goes in kind of far and it's just like a natural crevice or a little cavity. It seems like it formed from the rocks or the walls shifting over time. Like I said, this is built to last. It's not going anywhere, but it just needs how it kind of created its own little cavity there. So do you spot what I spy? 
Well, right here is an old outdoor lounge chair. It's those plastic tubing, if that's what it's called. The old school, I call it old school, but you know, the fold out outdoor chair, patio chair, kind of the earlier version of a camping chair, so to speak, but it has a plastic ribbing or tubing, which was comfortable until they started getting dry rotted and then you started breaking and falling through. And I just spot another tree that is kind of defying gravity, so to speak. That one right there is coming right out of the wall. It's got some mushrooms growing out of the bottom of it, but I'm always fascinated how they could just find their way to grow and actually be a healthy living tree. So you saw I just walked out of there. This is the other canal area. Bridge is right there. And again, this is like the Waylock station. And just more walls, ruins. Some of the wall is toppled over there. But a lot of this you can't really see during the summer months. It's just so thick and overgrown. But now we can see it plain as day. That means since we explore this area, we're going on to my next target. Probably my final target unless I discover something else along the way. But further down, and honestly if I want to take a walk this entire path to it, if I'm going to take the bike, it'll get me there much quicker. There is some type of tunnel. I don't know if it's a culvert. I don't know if we could go inside of it. I just remember seeing it from the Lehigh Canal Trail. I saw the archway and I saw darkness. And it's been calling my name to come back ever since I saw it. So. I'm going to get suited up back on the bike and we'll head out down to the tunnel. By the way, if I haven't said so already, thanks so much for coming along for this adventure. Keep your eyes peeled, somewhere up here on the left is the tunnel. I think we found it. Oh yeah, we could get to it no trouble this time. Well, let me get the bike locked up and then we'll go explore that tunnel. While I'm locking the bike up, feel free to pause the video, comment down below, and tell me what you suspect you think that tunnel was used for. Something obviously canal related. But how far does it go? Can we actually get inside? Is there anything inside? Hopefully, we'll answer those questions. This is what I've been waiting for, and pretty much the only reason why I came back. So we do have more canal ruins here, but for the most part, not to be disrespectful, you see one canal lock area or channel, you see you know, almost all of them. So, since we already saw that, we need to see what this is. Oh, well, from first glance, I know I could get inside of it and probably going to need a flashlight. It may or may not be a tunnel. We'll find that out once we get inside. This is actually, it's a lot bigger than I thought. <laughs> wow, I'm gonna go inspect it first and I'll come back and get you guys, so just wait there. Holy crap. You're not gonna believe it, I'll be right back. guys you're not gonna believe what I don't want to say anything you gotta see it for yourself grab your flashlight and come along with me all right if you're ready here we go this is without a doubt one of my coolest findings ever look how far that goes 
This is probably close, if not longer, than 100 feet in length. It is a tunnel. I can't confirm as of yet what it was used for, whether it was water for pedestrians. But regardless, we're going to walk all the way through it and inspect it along the way. This is solely so unexpected. I just almost at a loss for words. Now there's some various trash and discarded items laying down here. People have been down here, obviously. There's also some pretty neat ice formations that are forming from water that is seeping through the, the top here. Now, as you can see, it is completely made out of stone. Larger stone on the bottom, smaller on top, and it does kind of, well, not kind of, it does go in a arch fashion. And there is some concrete type material kind of sealing it all in place. It looks really well constructed. I don't see any loose pieces so far, and I don't have any fear of walking through here. And this is nothing that's off limits. It's part of the Lehigh Canal ruins off the Lehigh Canal Trail, which you are indeed allowed to explore. So if this is something that piques your interest, just keep in mind, you know, it is dark. You will need a flashlight and it is just beyond cool. And height wise, this is probably about nine to 10 feet tall. It is pretty tall. There's a bone right there. It is a soft, wet, damp material, combination of rocks, dirt, silt. And the shiny stuff that you see <clears throat> is indeed coal. I'm just gonna keep you rolling the entire time as we walk through it. I did spot this little upshoot, which is plugged up. May have been accessed from like the surface to drop something down. <clears throat> there's another one right there. And now it's a spider den. There's a spider up there. I'm surprised there's no bats in here. Not to say there's not, but haven't come across any yet. So yeah, these are staggered every so often. Oh, my favorite buddies, cave crickets. I found their new winter getaway spot. It's a large timber right there. Definitely some trip hazards. 100% you need a flashlight. There is some water drippage here and there. Nothing steadily pouring. No wind at all, but there is air down here. It's open on both ends. This is just simply incredible. I really under anticipated what this is. I thought it was either going to be like maybe a little tiny culvert, a caved in tunnel, or maybe even like a small uh, like spring well or a root cellar or something. I was just kind of throwing out all possibilities, but I did not anticipate this. And here's looking back where we started from. <clears throat> I'm going to actually kill the lights right now. You can see what it's like. It's dark. I'm actually showing it on my face right now. You probably can't even see me, but... Wow. <laughs> this really made the effort worthwhile for coming back. I am so glad I did. All right, coming up towards the other end here, as I would call maybe a portal. The portal on each end. Another metal barrel. Filled up with ice. Uh, what do we have here? I'm not certain what that is. It's heavy duty steel or metal and some wood attached to it. And then we We'll come, actually come out to the surface, so let's check it out and see what it looks like on this side. I feel like a prairie dog. It's like a time warp. What year is it? This isn't where I parked my car. 
Where's the DeLorean at? Marty! <laughs> so we breached that incredible structure. I wonder if you can even tell that this is a tunnel from the trail. We're gonna find that out in a second. But you can see whether it's natural erosion or intentionally plugged up, it's not as open on the other side, but it's not entirely sealed up. You could easily go through in and out. And that was not difficult to traverse as long as you have a flashlight, good footwear. I'm pretty safe to say that most people could handle going through there no problem. On the other side here, there's a wall, another wall of pyre, and I think we're up here near a, the train bridge actually. And there's some discarded items as well. Let's uh, get a view of the bridge since we're close to it. And then we'll see what it looks like on top of here. And then we'll go back through. So what we're looking at is the support system for the rail line. I'm not gonna go any closer. It actually is posted. This is Reading Northern Railroad property and tracks. But these are the under supports for the track that goes across diagonally. Now the thing I just realized is that this culvert tunnel is built because the tracks go actually over the top of it. I can only imagine what it would sound like to be inside of there if there was a train running over it. But 100% that tunnel goes underneath the rail line. Here's one more perspective. The tunnels over there supports the rail line, the canal trail, and this is like another sub trail that goes underneath the bridges here. And Lehigh River right there. And I'm basically standing on this elevated block support wall. But I'm gonna snap a few photos, return through the tunnel, and I'll see you guys somewhere inside or on the other side. Uh, back out into the daylight. Ah, bright light, bright light. The gremlins. All right, I'm gonna get back on the bike and we'll catch up from there. So here's the bridge that we saw from the top which means the tunnel is off to our right here. And I had no idea that the tracks went over that tunnel. So the canal went right next to it, the tracks went over the top of it. And it's over there. That was such an unbelievable discovery. I'm just shocked that that's what it was. And the reason I say that is because you know, I do a lot of adventures, a lot of exploring, and a lot of times I see things, whether it's on Google Maps, or on the side of the road, or in person, and I think it's one thing, it turns out to be another. Sometimes it's disappointing. Sometimes it's underwhelming. I have my expectations low for that. I have my hopes high, expectations low. That exceeded them all. I think, and you guys are welcome to chime in as well, I think that was a manway tunnel. I think with the combination of the canal next to it and the uh, rails on top, that that was a way for people, pedestrians, to be able to safely cross next to the canal and under the rails without having to go up and over the tracks. Now whether that was for like employees of the locks or just generalized public, may not know the answer to that, but regardless, that is a fantastic find right here off of the Lehigh Canal North Trail, just on the outskirts of downtown Jim Thorpe. And there's a lot more ruins here too. Things I've showed in my previous video, there's building foundations, structures. This time of year is the time to do it. So if you like finding things in the woods, if you like exploring, trying to find ruins, remains, remnants, of things from the past. Winter time, at least here in the Northeast, is the time to do it. There's twice as much visibility as there was when I was here last time. And 
just so you can see there's a, an abundance of clarity. It makes a world of difference. So when I said I was going to return, I kept my word on that, mainly because of that tunnel. Aside from all that, it just feels great to be out on my e-bike again, back on one of my favorite rail trails or canal trails. But I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day here in Jim Thorpe. You may see a video coming out of the downtown area. But regardless of that, thank you once again for joining me for Taste Adventure. Hopefully you were as excited as I was because that was just, it was just worth the return, worth the wait to get back to seeing that. Looking forward to your feedback, and if you want to see more adventures like this one, just check the playlist down below. Otherwise, take care, stay safe, everyone, and like now, like now, always. <laughs> like always, I'll see you, yeah, you, in the next video.